Hi, Dr. Rita Cashman. Uh, welcome uh, to the Cashman Wellness Show. This is going to be something a little bit different, and you might enjoy this. I'm going to hold up something to show you. On January the 20th, I have the privilege to be a speaker uh, at 10.30 in the morning uh, at the Martin Luther King celebration, the 35th uh, uh, annual uh, celebration. Uh, and I'll hold up the flyer on that. And uh, if you have time, 1030 is when I speak. I'd appreciate you uh, being, being there. In today's show, I'm going to give you the speech. I'm going to give then. It'll be the first time I just wrote it last night. <laughs> but uh, so I, too, have a dream. Okay, Martin Luther King had a dream, and you know it was a great uh, dream, uh, the, the, uh, which is kind of interesting. I started my neurosurgery training uh, July 1, 1963 at Georgetown University. Okay, so now in, in August, I was driving across town to go to D.C. General Hospital, and I ran across this huge crowd of people. I couldn't go on with the car. I just stopped it, parked it, and joined the crowd, and you know what? It was Martin Luther King's speech. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. So I was part of the crowd. I couldn't get to the front like I normally like to be, but I, they had loudspeakers, and I heard that, uh, uh, the speech. Yeah. But like I said, I too have a dream, and, and, and I personally, and I really mean it too, uh, I, uh, you know where he's living uh, at this time. He's in heaven. And he's looking down on us right now, watching us. You can count on it. Him and his uh, millions of friends he has up there. Uh, and uh, so let's go through this a little bit because I personally think we have another form of slavery forming sugary foods. I wrote a book about that, actually, the new slavery. Uh, you can see it on Amazon uh, where. Uh, people's hands and handcuffs of all colors, whites, blacks, browns, and, and they're grabbing up for sugary foods. Sugar is more addictive than cocaine. Uh, and since it's mainly a diabetes show, uh, let's get started, okay? So uh, uh, Martin Luther King achieved a great deal in, in his uh, life. He brought uh, uh, People out of the lunch counters and 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 and, and made it illegal uh, not to hire a, a black person, for example. A lot of tremendous uh, advances, which we still have today. But but uh, the whole nation, all colors, were becoming addicted to sugar. So we're becoming slaves again. Uh, okay. So I did read his uh, book, the autobiography, Martin Luther King. Uh, uh, ex excellent uh, uh, book to read it. I've read it uh, two or three times, and I refer to it almost daily. Very inspiring uh, what uh, this minister got down across the world from his uh, trip uh, to India and to the uh, churches, and he, he lived uh, in very small cells in, in prison, uh, which I would not have survived it, uh, but he did. So uh, a very brave person. Uh, so, I personally practiced neurosurgery 45 years and noticed the majority of my patients actually needed wellness coaching and not surgery. So, I became kind of a different kind of a, 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 a guy. Uh, when, when I was at Georgetown, where I spoke about where I joined the um, Martin Luther King speech, uh, I saw many patients uh, uh, from the black community, from community uh, and uh, I saw blood pressures, you wouldn't believe, 400 over 350, yeah, 300 over 220, common, common. And then I'd be treating them for brain hemorrhages uh, the size of a grapefruit. Every day, almost every day I did a surgery save many lives, but some had residual speech problems, some, some paralysis, and, and some died. I didn't know much about diabetes at that time, uh, but, but uh, let's face it, 
they all had diabetes, okay? Uh, and, and I didn't figure it out then. I, I figured these things out uh, uh, later. We, uh, in essence, uh, uh, that they were eating the wrong food was, was the majority of the problem. Maybe southern cooking, uh, uh, okay? And uh, so uh, uh, since the time, you know, I've read thousands of books uh, and still read them in my, in my basement. Uh, uh, I've probably got 1,500 books there. Uh, so uh, I've concluded that the majority problem uh, is that I'm looking at people with diabetes and its complications. Even as a neurosurgeon, I, I saw it uh, uh, all the time. Uh, and so I've decided to do something about it. Uh, so here, the... Martin Luther King Foundation, realizing how big a problem is for them, asked me to, to be uh, uh, their speaker. They want to do something about it. The hospital system then asked me to be the speaker that Martin Luther King uh, uh, did, and I thanked him for that, okay? We're looking at an epi and pandemic, uh, epidemic of disease in the U.S., in Indiana, in the county, uh, yeah. In this, in this city, uh, and, and you could uh, get upset about that because it's injuring, killing, disabling a, a lot of people. But I look at it as a golden opportunity. We have an opportunity because uh, I, we can turn this around quite quickly, but we need to pay attention uh, to uh, Rudy's war on diabetes because I have information for you. My bullets are information. I want you to know this information. And uh, so, so yet what does the government do, industry do, public health do, medical providers uh, do? It's a pill to the ill. Public health is not solving this problem. And, uh, and uh, so the maintaining the disease. Here's your script, see you in a year. The government supports the price of corn, 40 billion bucks they add to it every year, uh, which in essence is a sugar. They use it to, to feed the, the uh, 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 cattle, uh, which uh, is largely corn. So what you're eating when you're eating meat, you're eating corn is what, uh, is, uh, what you're eating. It makes fructose corn syrup, which is in every uh, muffin uh, uh, that you, uh, and, and, and sugary products uh, that you buy, uh, which... Uh, has a great effect uh, on your health. So uh, the, uh, the government, uh, industry, and medical providers are destroying your health. They should be teaching, getting at the root of the problem uh, and preventing a disease, which as you can see, is my passion. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, and uh, so fast food, uh, Stripped of the nutrients, uh, with the nutrients we need for good health is what we're eating. So we have a fast food nation. 50% of the people at least eat fast food every day. That's the main meal. Uh, many are working so hard and they have very little time to do cooking. We need to teach people how to cook. I met a German lady recently at the Three Rivers Pharmacy where I see people uh, uh, for nothing on, on Fridays. And she told me, uh, I said, what do you do in Germany? He says, I'm a teacher. I said, what do you teach? Cooking starting at age four, right through high school. We need to teach kids what good food is and how to cook. That would help uh, uh, solve this uh, uh, problem. So you can get rid of diabetes 90% of the time in about six, eight weeks and off medications. Mm -hmm. I know I've done it many times. It's in many books. Uh, you can read Dr. Furman's books. Uh, uh, it's, it's right in the end of diabetes. My name is on the back cover because I reviewed it and, and endorsed it. Many other books, too. Uh, so, uh, so what is public health doing? Uh, is maintaining it. Uh, a few years ago, three years ago, three, four years ago, I went to public health state of Indiana in Indianapolis uh, and uh, spoke to the head of public health uh, and brought 
two, two of my red bags full of books, laid them all out for him, end of diabetes, goodbye uh, diabetes, Dr. Furman's work, uh, Dr. Mark uh, Hyman's work, his book after book, DVDs too, uh, uh, to, to, because I had heard one of his assistants talk at a meeting that type diabetes, you can't get rid of it, you maintain it. I thought that was wrong, so I went to see him and, and uh, uh, gave him the, these books. And you know what that accomplished? Nothing. Nothing. Vice President Pence had appointed him to be the Surgeon General of the United States, which he is at this time. What an opportunity he has to stop, prevent, reverse diabetes. He knows my name. He could call me. I gladly work for free and do it, for example. But the reason I point this out, public health needs to step up to bat. We are faced with an epidemic. We are at war. And I like to stop this war with information. The, the public doesn't know these things. They are blind to it. A few know, but most do not know uh, because we're being captured by the industry, by government, by providers. Hospitals have grown everywhere, even... Uh, a, a new one was announced uh, uh, today. All we need is another hospital. What we need is root education, and we would need half the hospitals. Costs would drop, uh, for, uh, for example. Uh, and uh, so we, the medical profession, uh, are practicing script to the ill, not seriously declaring a war on diabetes. We have great... Uh, Neighborhood clinics, for example, who oversee a, a great number of, of our population that has diabetes. It's more common uh, in, in, in parts of town because they have food disparities. They have only fast food that's available. Uh, perhaps the teaching in the schools isn't this as good as it should be on proper uh, nutrition. Uh, I have trouble accessing uh, the, the food lines in their cafeterias. They, they seem to not want a doctor to see that. Uh, I love to walk through the cafeteria of one inner town and then the other to see if there's food disparities, I suspect, uh, uh, that there is, but also some parts of town, uh, there's more stress in their lives, so they're eating more sugary foods to feel good. That alone is health disparities. I, I spoke with someone uh, where they Although the school is providing some healthy foods, the kids are throwing it away because they need the fast food to make themselves feel good. And they have found that sugary foods reduce brain function uh, and social behavior, which can be a big problem. Uh, so we become slaves again, okay? Uh, we are eating a diet of fat, salt, and sugar, and toxic fast food. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, it's another form of... Uh, 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 slavery. We're addicts. We're slaves to, to bad food. Think about it that way. Uh, and, and it's all people, all colors, all races, uh, all uh, uh, groups. Uh, so, but I have to thank the leadership uh, of the Martin Luther King Foundation and NAACP uh, for allowing me to speak, for asking for me to speak about this. Uh, so the, uh, how is this going to change? The mayor, I'm going to meet with January 2nd, so I'm asking him to embrace it. Uh, a good avenue might be the churches. I already teach uh, stopping preventing diabetes uh, in Crystal, Tom Crystal Thomas, church uh, by St. Francis. She has an arm wrapped around it. We've been doing cooking classes there and some lectures for a number of years now. Uh, so I think that the uh, churches are willing uh, to get involved, uh, some of them. Uh, Crystal uh, Bush Thomas there uh, is head of associate churches, I think. Uh, she could perhaps carry it to the other churches uh, and uh, and a great way to teach it really is through uh, what's called the Daniel Plan. Daniel Plan. 
I encourage you to read this book. It was uh, written uh, by uh, Mark Hyman, uh, uh, Mark Hyman, Dr. Amen, and Dr. Rick Warren, a minister uh, on this, this specific uh, side there. He was baptizing uh, about 500 people, 600 people in a river, uh, and they closed on, and as it came back up, he looked at everybody and said, and these are the opening words of his book, we're all fat. He said it. I didn't say it. He said it. it's right. It's right in that book. Uh, so these two doctors and him put together this great book. Uh, they have DVDs and plans and, 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 and recipes. I encourage you uh, to read it. And, 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 what, and I have some of the quotes from there. Uh, uh, so what he's saying is our bodies are the creatures of God. And we must respect our body, okay, uh, that God gave us good food to eat. He even has quotes, Corinthians 6, chapter 19, uh, where, which he says, the body of Christ is within you. The body of Christ is within you, and you're eating bad food. You're just respecting God's creation. That, that's right in, in the book. And the number of other quotes in there uh, which, which I uh, uh, like. Uh, so uh, if the, what I would like to see, what's my vision, what's my dream? Who's going to lead us out of this? Uh, what we're in, I think the churches could do it. Mm -hmm. If every church... Uh, uh, would teach this, and we all form a family of love and faith. And in teaching, I think we could lead the way in the city, the county, the state, the nation in changing this culture of bad food leading to type 2 diabetes and its 30 to 60 chronic diseases, which in include... Uh, dementia, heart attacks, and, and, and strokes, increased rates of cancer, liver transplants, renal transplants, that could all be avoided. 90% of that could be avoided. We could reverse diabetes in six weeks. That's what I would uh, like to see. It doesn't appear to me that the, the industry uh, will step up to bat and change this. They're building new hospitals all the time. I'm for preventing it so we don't need the hospitals. So uh, join my army, okay? And we will, with our bullets of information, educate you uh, and in different organizations like the Neighborhood Health Clinic, Matthew 24, the, ch the churches uh, fought for fitness, the, the city government, the mayor. We all join together uh, in this and, and march together and change this culture. But you must participate in your health care, number one. You must gather some information uh, from the Internet, uh, books. I'd read the Daniel Plan, uh, for example. Uh, call us, and we will speak to you, uh, to groups, individual people. I can coach you individually at the Three Rivers Pharmacy by Concordia High there. I see people for free from 9 to 12. Uh, if the group gets bigger, we will uh, open up other hours and other people can, can join us. Uh, people come to see me all the time who are willing to uh, help. So it's time to break the silence. We, we need to sp spread love, but we get a push. Like Martin Luther King, I mean, he uh, did it peacefully, but he pushed the envelope. If we don't push the envelope, and just touch the issue, kiss the issue. We're not going to get anything done. We must uh, press ahead. And when seeing the doctors say, not just take the script and say, how can I get rid of my disease? Oh, you're not going to teach me? I'll go see Dr. Cashman uh, at the Three Rivers Pharmacy for free. I don't charge. And uh, so I see the promised land. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. 
So I'm awakening the consciousness of Fort Wayne, okay? And the city, and the county, and the state. Join me. We are on the move, okay? And uh, blacks have had more than 350 years uh, uh, from s s s slavery to partial release, uh, uh, but now becoming enslaved again, including whites. The white community is, has high rates of diabetes and its diseases. If you see a person with their legs amputated, odds are uh, they're diabetic. Yeah, I went to a funeral last year where the man that died had both legs amputated. Another brother had a leg amputated. Mother had uh, diabetes. Uh, and another brother has diabetes now, and he says, I respect diabetes, Dr. Cashman. I don't want you to respect it. I want you to get rid of it. There's a few left who, who just can't. Who, their pancreas is 100% dead, and they need the insulin, which is anabolic. Insulin makes you gain weight. The insulin puts the sugar in the cell to energy to keep you alive, but it does many other things. It causes dementia, it causes thyroid disease, stiffening of the arteries, increased rates of cancer, inflammation all over the body. So you want to be operated on the least amount of insulin necessary. And I want you to, uh, to get early testing, okay? Uh, and, and, uh, and, and you can pick up at the pharmacy or I'll be, have a desk at the Martin Luther King uh, uh, thing in January the 20th, and I'll be, have the, the test that you need. I'll give it to you for free. I'll have flyers. I'll have other flyers uh, 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 too, uh, okay? Uh, so uh, things can be done, and, and that's the uh, good news. I'll also provide for you a copy uh, of something you can get for free there, the Mount Luther King uh, event or at the pharmacy now called the Golden Opportunity to prevent a disease, or at least to diagnose it early, should be our goal. That's our goal. That's our mission. Uh, okay. So what are we running in the hospitals we have today? We have cathedrals of sickness. You see hearts on the front. We see cancer things in the front. I'm for preventing those diseases. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and I think this uh, the Daniel plan, I think, is a great way to do it. I, I, I would, um, in, uh, at the Martin Luther King event, I, I looked at the brochure from last year, uh, and uh, the pictures, uh, every page is, uh, is almost ministers. So uh, I'm going to put my faith in them as because they meet every week. Every week, I think church attendance might increase mm -hmm. if we... Uh, uh, concentrate on, 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 on faith uh, uh, and food and fitness and, and spread a message of love in the community, maybe walk together, maybe hold hands uh, together, uh, and maybe tap dance down the road. <laughs> I'm taking tap dance lesson uh, from reading the history of that. Let's face it. The African-American community, they're the ones that are expert at it. I think it's within their body. I like to see the whole community tap dancing for exercise. I'm always thinking of, of uh, something. And, uh, and, and, and uh, diabetes starts in childhood. I would like a pediatrician to come on board and start checking the children differently. I've reviewed how they check children uh, today. And I went to see the head pediatrician in, in the state that runs the society, and I'm not sure it registered uh, uh, because I, I gave him the books to read. Uh, he hasn't called back. I, I have found two pediatricians, Dr. Barula and Dr. Fu, F.U., works for Lufthansa. Uh, they, I think, get it. So uh, my plan is to join with them to talk to maybe to the state pediatric society uh, that we can insti institute different testing in children to catch it very early, to catch it at the, at the root, 
And I think we can get the uh, type 2 diabetes rate uh, to decrease in incidence and reduce uh, in complications. Uh, for example, how kidney disease, liver disease, amputations, all 90% of that can be avoided. I went to a restaurant recently because a relative of mine likes to eat a fast food steakhouse, and uh, we went there. And, and just for me to look at the different tables, the people eating the food, and even as I left at the door, a lady in a wheelchair, both legs amputated. Uh, uh, I, I've seen the promised land, okay? I've seen the disabilities. I know that could have been uh, avoided. Uh, and, and, and they're eating bad food there. I even talked to the manager if he would consider putting on the menu at least an alternative. Uh, there are restaurants in this town where they have an alternative menu, okay? Yeah, uh, Baker Street is one, and, the, and that gentleman that owns three restaurants, actually, very hardworking. I'm, I'm trying to meet him in, in, in the future. He has alternative menus at all three restaurants. They don't even need to be alternative. Uh, they could be just an addition, where that if a person came in who's been re-educated to watch my shows or, or listen to uh, maybe the Ministerial Association, which hopefully will car help carry this message, is that they would want to eat different food. Okay. Uh, I didn't say you can eat uh, some bad food now and then, but I'm saying seven days a week, and I know of some big-time corporate owners, I mean, people you would know, names that you were here, I'm not going to mention them, who eat out twice a day, well, that's a problem. You eat it twice a day, uh, odds of becoming diabetic in the future is big. And, and some of these people I know are diabetic, but, and they're so important to our community, I would hope that they would open their eyes uh, and start eating correctly. And I know they know better, but I think there's so much stress uh, trying to save their company, they're eating bad food. Uh, uh, so in, in uh, uh, summary, uh, I hope you can attend uh, my talk at the Martin Luther King Foundation meeting on January, celebrating his 35th anniversary on, uh, 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 on January the 20th, 1030. I'll be there. I'll shake your hand. Uh, I'm going to throw up some demonstrations, too, which I didn't have time to put on here uh, to increase your knowledge. And uh, I did this today because uh, I have started the war on diabetes. I'm going to stop it, prevent, reverse it, because I care about you. I love you. Uh, I am a physician, uh, and it's part of my duty, uh, but I think it's given me a purpose, so it's not just a one-way one street. I have a lot of people walk up to me and said they get rid of their diabetes and off all medications, and I said to them, well, you're probably going to live to be 100, and you're looking so great. I say that to somebody almost daily, daily. Uh, so uh, join my army and, uh, and uh, get more information. And, and, and I love you. Namaste. And thanks for the opportunity to uh, speak to you t today. <laughs>